Welcome to One Hour Build. The rules are simple. One app, one hour, as much AI as I can use, and see how far I get. Today we build a prompt manager. Now normally I would dive straight in and just get started. But this time I thought I would take a moment and do a little bit more definition and separate the architecture a little. I had this crazy idea. If I did that, I might be able to clone myself and use parallelism to help me build things. But between you and me, honestly, I thought maybe it was a little bit overkill for a one hour build. But in the end, at the very end, as the hour started to dwindle down, it was a lifeline. You'll see what I mean. This build took 15 minutes or something in that neighborhood, but I don't know how to control it. Uh, uh oh, okay, so kind of lots of problems here. So it does have some promise, but really just the very beginnings. So I'm, I'm really kind of leery that I'll get any of this actually accomplished by the end at this point. <laughs> This is one hour build. One app from scratch, as much AI as I want to use, see how far you get. Let me be clear, one hour is definitely not enough time. Today, a prompt manager, spotlight for prompts. Hit a key, select a prompt, inject it wherever you want it, easy peasy. Since there's so many moving parts, I decided to break down the architecture. The reason I broke down the architecture is I have a belief that if I can separate the architecture elegantly enough, then I can parallelize the work. But if I have somebody working on the back end, one of my agents is out there building something for the file storage, I can probably have somebody in the UI building something for folder or organization or even the markdown editor and have no conflict. We need to store the file somewhere, being able to search. We need the hotkey, obviously. Also, we're gonna to need to be able to paste. Keyboard navigation would be one. Prompt selection, when you select one of these prompts, obviously the biggest one is this spotlight window that pops up. And then we have a markdown editor so that you can edit and change the, the prompts that are there. And then folder organization, that is a big stretch. I really don't expect to be able to get to all of this. We'll see, one hour is not nearly enough time. I ended up building a pretty good spec. I worked with several agents that I've built to come up with kind of an ideation of the different features, what they look like, their shape of them. You're gonna see a real clock on the screen that is real time counting down. I will check in as the build goes. My gosh, let's see how far we get. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get started, get our clock going. You will see that clock jump because who wants to watch this for a whole hour? I'm going to build inside of cursor just so everybody knows, and I will come in and create All right, so I've put my initial PRD down in here and it's time to get started. And I will go into planning mode. All right, let's let that go. It's doing such a great job. It's got three different planners running, it looks like, really looking at different approaches, looking at different plugins that are out there and available. This is really one of those improvements with Opus 4.5. I have a whole video coming up in just a few days about what I think Opus 4.5 and Gemini 3 mean to us. I highly advise you subscribe for that because I think that that video is just an indicator of what's really about to come. Okay, so it's finished. It's been almost 10 minutes. All right, now it's time to let it go through these phases. I would expect this is gonna take a bit of time and I'm gonna be chewing my fingernails. <laughs> okay, all right, so it finished building. I have no idea what to expect from it. You might see it right up here. This, this build took 15 minutes or something in that neighborhood, but I don't know how to control it. Uh, uh oh, okay, so kind of lots of problems here. When I go to interact with the application, it crashes and it complains about not being able to have the macOS private API. Okay, there is no way. We're in the middle of every time I select something, it crashes, it's fighting with transparencies. I've got 17 minutes remaining. This is so close to the end. There is no way we're getting close to any of these features. What I've told it to do is disregard the transparency and all of these other things. Let's just be able to select one and get something on the clipboard quickly. It at least is an application that comes forward in the center of the, the window. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is seven minutes remaining and I cannot get it to fix anything. We've all been here. This is a very dark moment. This is one of those moments. Uh, six minutes remaining. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, all right. Well, you got through one fix. All right, so I can at least launch it here for you. Now you can start seeing 
the application. And so this would be the application showing up. I have a hotkey to be able to show it. So there's quite a bit remaining and three and a half minutes left. So I can't imagine getting this anywhere close to over the line, but I will say the line to me looks like I need to get something on the clipboard so that I could paste it somewhere. That needs to be my absolute minimum. Okay, we're trying to get it to copy to the clipboard. We have 50 seconds left. It says, oh, I found it. All right, it tells me it's ready. Oh, no. Oh, let's click away. Let's bring it back up. Oh, no, it broke all together. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I can't even close it now. Oh, we're about to hit it. No. <sighs> yeah, we failed. <laughs> so now what I've got is a big blocking panel on my window. That's great. That's what we wrote in one hour. And you can too. <laughs> okay, that is day one. I know it's kind of hour one, well, hour one and 10 minutes at this point, but it is Thanksgiving and I'm gonna go eat. When next I see you, I will be happier. Okay, so I think we're far enough in that we have a window that's running. We have problems pasting into the application. We're just kind of fighting all of these things at the same time. It's been long enough that I think it's time for us to split and see if we can get more workers to solve more problems. Okay, so here we go. What we're really looking at, I've come down into my project. I've created two new work trees off of it. I've set the project up so that it can use different port numbers to be able to work. And I've opened a new cursor in each one of these. This is for the UI changes. And this one is the OS integration paste branch. And I'm gonna work in those parallel. Let's go. Okay, because it's getting so close, we're really getting down to it, but there's a whole bunch of things landing all at once. If you recall, we're running multiple agents at this point on multiple parts of the project. I have a UI system that's going off and building a, a complete ton of stuff. And then I have one that's in the OS integration, trying to figure out the paste and the previous application, those kinds of things. I'm also going to get one started here at the data layer to do the sorting of the frequency. That, so the most popular items will be kind of at the top of searches and things like that. And then we're gonna have three building. I have like 12 minutes left to get to the two hour build. I know it's the one hour build. It's the one hour plus one hour build is what we're building today. But I'm really gonna get this one kicking off and have all three building all at the same time in work trees. And then I'm gonna merge them back together, hopefully in about 10 minutes. Okay, so I've got that one running, really creative kind of sorting mechanism that the most recent object will sort to the top. But in this, at the same time, we wanted to test uh, the system that's saying it knows how to paste. It came back, I gave it another change to say, eh, you're not, quite pasting yet. So let's bring up our application and look for dogs. And it's pay, oh, <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, okay, hang on, let's really prove this. Okay, no, I don't use that anymore. Here we go. Let's say dogs, come on, baby. Now it's up to ChatGPT though, of course. <laughs> oh, heck yes. I mean, we've got four minutes. Uh, can we land some of these other things in four minutes and merge them together? I don't know, I gotta go. Here we go, let's go see. Okay, so here we go. Each one of these has a PR that it created. I went out to GitHub and just hit the create PR button. Here are the three different ones. You can see that they're all okay to merge right away because they're seeing that original main. I just wanna show this last step to people that might not know how this works, but I need to, I need to merge one of these first. So the first one I will merge as we mentioned before, is the OS integration, the paste one, because it probably has the smallest amount of impact with others. I will also delete the branches once I'm complete there. Um, once that's merged though, I can come back to these others and reload these to see if they're still okay uh, to merge straight in, to see if there are conflicts that they're seeing. If there are conflicts, or they need to be updated, then GitHub will tell you that it needs to be updated. All right, and as suspected, when I come back to those second and third PRs and I update them, they can both be merged in right away, which is great. So I think these have no specific impact either. What I'm gonna do next is merge in the data one because it also should be relatively isolated in the way that it works, delete its branch, and then I'm gonna come back to the UI one I will reload the UI one and say, oh, 
looks like it also can be merged in. Oh boy, here we go. I got one minute. Let's see what we can do. We're going to merge this thing in. The likelihood that all of these worked perfectly fast forward merging into one another. Okay, GitHub, let's see your magic. Okay, so here we are. We're back down in here. And what you can see is we're on main. This was the main branch window uh, and it has seven updates. So I'm going to just go pull all those updates and then I'm going to tell Claude here. I just merged in a whole bunch of changes. I want to kind of rebuild this and re-verify everything. Can you go through all that and get it running for me? Come on, 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 come on. Okay, we're at that point. <laughs> uh, I did find something. It's going to go and fix a few things. Rust built. Now it's running it. Small change. Oh, it's running dev. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You got to finish. Got to finish. We're over time. Here we go. Okay. And we're calling it at 10204. <laughs> All right. Negative 10204. So 20204. <laughs> All right. So it's time, right? Now, Let's set up a scenario and see how this application works. All right, how about some news? AI news, two clicks, outstanding. What should I watch tonight? Two clicks, one search, excellent, awesome, I like it. The transcript from this video, how's it gonna do? Eh. Meeting notes. Even more meeting notes. Okay, I know I'm hitting these real fast. I don't want to spend too much time. You can see how fast the application is to work. I can pull it up. I can search for things, as you no doubt saw. When we pull it up, we also have the possibility inside of these to be able to edit them. You can see some of the items down at the bottom that tell you how to edit them. Let's say we shift enter on this meeting notes. You'll see the editor pops up here. These are the meeting notes. You can select any icon you like and whatever color you want for that icon so that it's more clear when you're selecting them out of the list. You can create new folders, put them in previous folders, the folders, the descriptions, the notes, the names, everything gets searched. Um, and this is what gets thrown in. I can copy and paste it from here, of course, but I can also pull out all of the prompts on the left panel over here. I can do any of the same for these. I can edit them as I like. Uh, I can delete them if I need to. I can add folders here collapse the folders. So you can see there's a bunch of features that were added to the UI in general very, very quickly. But the real major value would be being able to very, very simply, let's say I wanted to do the news for AI again. If I hit tab, you'll see that it actually gives us the ability to add context to it. And you'll notice that that context is sent along with it. These are all pretty obvious, but it is that fast to use, that useful. I find this thing already to be fantastic that I could come in here and change and be able to keep all of the different mechanisms that I have for video prompts, those kinds of things. Everybody understands the concept of a prompt library or manager where you might store your prompts. There's a lot more to do here, but this was in our two hour build. And really, it's all thanks to that parallelization that we pulled off. I was going fast, but not nearly fast enough to really hit any mark by going sequentially. Once I spread out, boy, that was really the finding. Okay, that was fun. I admittedly, completely crushed the one hour thing. Uh, the, the findings that I have here, let me hand off a few very simple findings. You heard me talk about a few of them. Um, number one, the breakdown of the architecture was great. That really helped. Once I got two or three uh, different agents out there building at the same time and could bring parallelism in, that really made a big difference. The problem up front was that initial build took maybe 25, 30 minutes for it to get through all of that initial build that I asked it to do but it got us a huge amount of way there. The problem was I got really focused and over-indexed on a few problems that I was trying to solve uh, and really wouldn't let go. And it was really me being the problem. I should have pulled myself out and said, forget that. 
it's a hackathon you have to complete in an hour. So I kind of screwed that up. But once I saw that and realized, hang on, let me back up and spread it out and solve problems horizontally instead of vertically, that really changed everything. So it did a great job merging things back together, as you saw, was super simple. So I think doing that, a good solid PRD with a whole bunch of requirements up front, it's a known entity. This is a surface area that the system would know how to build or something similar. So it's not having to create a whole bunch of brand new concepts. But at the same time, I think that it ended up building enough here that it feels unique to me. So this was a great one hour build, one plus one hour build, we'll, we'll call it that. Uh, I really appreciate you being here for this one. I'm going to hopefully do a few more of these because they are fun. I honestly was pretty stressed last night that I wasn't going to make the one hour portion of it, but I'm very happy I took it to the last mile here so that we could see it, what it might really actually be. Um, thanks for coming along for the ride on this one, and I'll see you in the next one.